Hi, my name is Billy Sue Chapins, and I'm a lead program manager on the Windows User Experience team. Today I'm going to show you some of the work we've done to re-engineer the boot experience in Windows 8. In our previous video, we showed you just how fast a machine is going to boot. You may have noticed in that video, the boot looked a little different. It felt seamless from the time you hit the power button. Today I'm going to walk you through some of those changes we've made to the user experience. So let's take a look. After I press the power button on this device, you'll notice that a clean logo appears on the screen. It remains there throughout post and into the Windows bootloader. There's nothing else on the screen, no more text-based console messages, and again, it's fast. Now I've configured this particular device to boot between multiple versions of Windows. As you can see, this new boot menu is presented graphically and no longer feels like it's from the 1980s. Also, we've designed the boot experience to be better suited to devices without a keyboard, so this menu is also touchable. I can quickly tap the OS that I want to boot and be on my way. Or, I can choose to navigate to change defaults and either change the default timer or the default OS. I can navigate to even more options, and I'm presented with a consolidated view into all the functionality I may want before entering the OS. You'll see several things here. For instance, on a UEFI machine, the OS can communicate with the firmware to list all the boot options available. I happen to have a USB flash drive plugged into this machine, and you can see that option shows right here in the Windows boot menu. In addition to the UEFI boot options, this menu also shows the system options that are available in the Windows recovery environment. Let's say that I recently installed a new driver on this machine, and unfortunately, it was faulty and caused problems that prevent me from logging in. I can choose Command Prompt and Reboot into the Windows Recovery environment where I can have full access to this device. I'm rebooting into the recovery environment so that I can enter my credentials before accessing the Command Prompt. We wouldn't want to allow just anyone to walk up to this machine and get Command Prompt level access. One thing you'll notice when I do get into Windows Recovery environment is we didn't just add the new visuals and touch support in the full OS, but we've added these capabilities to the recovery environment as well. We want you to have a cohesive experience regardless of which functionality you want to access. And of course, we never want you to have to go out and buy a keyboard just to complete these tasks on your touch first device. Now that I'm booted into Windows Recovery Environment, I can enter my admin credentials right here. So you'll see the soft keyboard comes up. I can type my password, hit continue, and now I have the command prompt complete with the soft keyboard. From here, I can locate that faulty driver and remove it and log into my machine as usual. So there you have it. As you can see, the new boot experience in Windows 8 is designed to be fast and fluid from the time you hit the power button. If there are tasks you need to complete before the OS boots, we want those to be easy to reach, easy to navigate, and look and feel like they're a part of Windows. Day in and day out, as you boot your machine, our goal is for that to be as fast as possible. But for those times when you need to do more, we want the experience to be just as seamless. We're very excited for you to give this a try yourselves.